Yeah, definitely hot and smoky for today. Very dry as well. 87 degrees right now, downtown Denver. I think we'll climb about another 5, 10 degrees for most of us. Sun does not set until 8 p.m. But I'll tell you what, you know, you look at this camera that's over at the mousetrap looking to the uh, southeast, and you notice, yeah, it's, it's hazy, but it's not as bad as it has been at times lately, and we're going to continue to see that improvement into tomorrow. Not only 87 downtown, 87 at the airport as well. A little bit of wind coming in out of the northeast with gusts up to about 20 miles per hour. Unhealthy the air for sensitive groups today. That's an improvement over yesterday when the air was unhealthy for everyone. Extremely poor visibility and yet another ozone action day. As we talked about earlier in the show, it's our 50th of the summer and it's 38 days in a row with that uh, uh, alert in effect. So we have the smoke coming in from the large wildfire in California, the Dixie fire out there that's uh, north of Lake Tahoe. We've got the thickest smoke most likely in northern Colorado through the rest of today. Weld County, Larimer County over into Jackson and northern Grand County. So the Rocky Mountain National Park region and then down the hill to Horse Tooth into Fort Collins and over to Greeley. That's probably where the worst of the smoke will be for the rest of today. Here's tomorrow. The uh, smoke models bringing in a little surge for the front range in the morning. But then check out tomorrow afternoon where you see the, the blue and the green on this map. That's just light smoke, and I think by tomorrow afternoon, that's all we're going to have. Light smoke across much of the state. It'll be the best smoke situation, so to speak, that we've had in a long time. All right, so we do have severe weather this midday in Wisconsin, throughout the Great Lakes region, uh, tornado and severe thunderstorm threats over there. We're also watching some moisture in Arizona. That's monsoon moisture that is currently being kept south of us in Arizona and New Mexico. And that's what's allowing that smoke plume to come in our direction. But here's the monsoon moisture plume, not far away. As we get into tomorrow, high pressure moves north out of New Mexico. That cuts off and deflects the smoke plume away from us. That's why we should see a big increase in uh, the air quality tomorrow. It should be much, much better much less smoke, but with that extra monsoon moisture in place, we'll bring back a chance for a late day thunderstorm tomorrow, especially in the mountains. And that chance gets a little better as we get into Friday uh, again, especially for the high country for today. Can't rule out an isolated storm somewhere down here in the San Grey de Cristos or the San Juans. Anything will be limited to those southern mountains closer to the monsoon moisture. Here's tomorrow. We start dry, but then tomorrow afternoon we'll see more more widely scattered showers and storms compared to today with most of the activity along and south of Highway 50. The farther north you go in the state, including here in the metro area, Area, our chance 20% or less. Everything should come to an end by 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So 97 is the record for today. I think we'll at least tie it, a record from just a year ago. Overnight tonight, 40s and 50s in the mountains, 60s here in the front range overnight tonight, and we do have the Perseid meteor shower, uh, which starts overnight, midnight through dawn tomorrow. We have clear skies, which is normally great news. The problem is we're still going to have that smoke with us tonight into tomorrow morning, and that's going to filter those meteors, not allowing them to look as bright as usual. 92 for our high tomorrow, 20% chance for late-day storm, 30% chance on Friday. And look at that, McKinsey, only 86, but it's one day and one day only back into the 90s for the weekend. Hey, we'll take it. Thanks so much, Ashton.